Hello, all right, learners. In this class, we'll discuss the problems on double or enforced transactions. In, the, in previous class, we have discussed uh, single enforced transactions. That means uh, you can find the moment of resistance. And the second type problem, the moment is given, you would find the uh, steel area, both in tension and compression. Now, already we have uh, discussed on the double enforced rectangular sections. The reinforcement is provided both in tension as well as the compression phase. So, what are the equation we have derived for the single reinforced sections? In addition to that, there will be a compressive force due to this steel in compression, and which also we have uh, discussed in uh, case of this uh, single reinforced section. That is equal to the stress in steel in compression FSC minus 0.446 FCK at the stress in concrete multiplied by the whole multiplied by area of steel compression AS. That is the force, uh, additional force that will come due to the in compression side and uh, due to which also moment will be equal to multiplied by the lever arm which is equal to D minus D dash. So uh, that thing we have uh, discussed uh, also in case of uh, double and four sections. Now you can see the same thing here. So what we will get, we will we'll get another uh, force due to this compression steel here. Okay, compression steel means the stress in this level. The stress in this level will be FSC and this FSC always depends on the strain at that level. We have also seen in the code in page 96, strain corresponds to 0.0035 into XU minus D dash by XU. So the same formula will be applied to find out this strain and corresponding to strain, you have to find the trace from the stress strain curve that we have discussed in double and force. The same principle is also applied here. You know. So FSC minus the force due to this, the stress due to the concrete, the concrete is replaced by the steel. So FSC minus 0.446 FCK and this is the stress, net stress and multiply by your ASC. So that is the force. And the lever arm between these two will be equal to again D minus D dash. So let us see the problems. Now uh, this is a T-beam given. Uh, this T-beam is given 300 width and 12 meter. All the diameters data is given. Effective depth is in 500 millimeter. Ultimate calculate the moment of resistance MU. Ultimate moment of resistance means MU. So reinforcement is given six numbers 25 bars on this tension phase, 225 in compression phase. So you calculate all these values of your uh, AST, AC, FCK, FY, BW, DF, all the data are given. Now again come to neutral axis. So the similar fashion we have seen for the single and four section, first you have to confirm whether this uh, neutral axis lies in wave or lies in planes. So if it lies in planes, then you have to take uh, your uh, the rectangular section and B is equal to BF. If it lies in wave, then you take the formula prescribed for waves. Uh, in added, and uh, you have to add this extra force or the additional force due to the steel in compression uh, in concrete. Now, uh, neutral axis formula will be again uh, 0.36 FCK BXU that is for the rectangular. Then we have discussed point FSC minus 0.45 FCK, 0.446 is number to 0.45. So into ASC. Sometimes also people, as we have discussed, this is omitted. You can omit and also calculate as you like. What is the exact value? That is equal to 0.87 FY ST. Now, what the FSC is not known, not known to you? So, take some FSC value. What is the maximum value of FSC? That is 0.87 FY. So, you assume some value below 361 and calculate this uh, value of XU. Now, XU comes out to be 98.27, which is less than 120 millimeter. So, that means it lies in planes. So, the XU is less than this. Uh, thickness of the planes, so uh, it lies in planes. Now, if it lies in planes, the cover is given 40. Again, your uh, D dash by XU, the cover should be uh, value shall be uh, this uh, D by XU is 0.43. So, your D dash cover is 40, it should be more than 40. So, that is another check. You can do D dash is equal to 3 by 7 XU. If you take 3 by 7 XU, it is 42. 
greater than 40, so it is okay. The cover to reinforcement is not within the cover to reinforcement because this should be more than because uh, below cover to reinforcement it is only concrete. There is no steel. So hence neutralize lies in planes and X U less than X U maximum. So corresponding to your X U value 98.27, calculate the strain and then calculate the stress, the actual stress. Now calculate the moment of resistance. Again, that is equal to 0.36 of CKB X U force. Multiply by your lever arm D minus 0.42 X U and F A C minus 0.45 F C K the stress into A C lever arm is D minus D dash. <coughs> so you can calculate the moment of resistance. So uh, you confirm here that the neutralizer lies in uh, planes, but the problem is different if it lies in wave. So let us see the next problem that uh, the neutralizer lies in. Uh, Wave. So it's another problem is given uh, 300 width of the wave, wave is 300, 900 is the planes, 120 is the thickness of these uh, planes, 500 meter is the effective depth, and again cover to reinforce and given 40, and the compression steels are given. So take all the calculations, uh, the initial data given, then first you assume the neutral axis lies in planes. So uh, like the a single end force section also in the case of double end force section, you have to assume it is lies in planes and check DF. If DF is uh, less than uh, XU is less than DF or XU is more than DF. Now again, FASC take the maximum value 361 is value, so you can assume any value 350 is assume. So you are getting XU is greater than DF. So if XU is greater than DF, you have to check your uh, cover to reinforcement is sufficient or this not lying. So 3 by 7 XU is 56, so it is okay. Now we confirm neutralize lies in wave. Lies in wave, then your tension is equal to again same, 0.87 FYST, tensile force is equal to compressive force, so tensile force remaining same, and YF is equal to 0.15 XU, 0.65 DF, so with maximum value equal to DF, it cannot be more than DF. Now calculate this uh, strain, and corresponding to strain you have to calculate the uh, stress, so calculate the strain value, uh, XU value is known, D dash is known, so you can calculate this value of FSC. Okay. Now if you know the FSC value, then uh, calculate the value of CU. So initially you have taken this value, this uh, trial value, first trial value is taken, XU is equal to 139, 131.04. So with this value, we calculate the value C compare CU and TU. Now, uh, Compare CU is equal to TU and you calculate the next value XU. So XU value is now coming 145.46 and YF is less than DM. Okay. So you repeat this value uh, till you get this uh, value, two values are remaining close. So initially we have taken 131. What the value we have taken? Initially we have taken uh, this value uh, XU. X you take 131.04. So we have initially taken the value 131.04. We started with this value that we have obtained uh, for this uh, from this uh, single end force section. So with this, you start. Now you see in the second case with 131.4, calculate all the things and uh, then comparing CU is equal to TU, we find the value that XU is coming 145.46. Again, for 1.5.6, two calculations, all the steps as done the first uh, problem, first uh, part, calculate the strain, calculate the stress, calculate CU, and then find out the value of X. Now it is coming 144.93. So now it is coming close, 144.93, 145.46. So make another trial, and you'll find out uh, this value is coming. Uh, strain, strain. So you can uh, here stop here. We have to stop here because they are very close. We are not going for another uh, trial. If we make another trial, it will be in between this. So 145.46, 144.93. There is only difference of 0 0.46 plus 0 .07, 0 0.07, so 0 0.53 maximum. So they are equal. So you have, uh, now corresponding to this value of X U is final 144.3. That is the final value. So for this value, calculate the strain, and from this strain, calculate the stress value. So the stress value comes 346 newton per millimeter square. So now calculate YF. YF is now coming less than DF. So it is all are satisfied. 
and also x u less than x u maximum. Now you have to calculate the moment of resistance. So now go to d f by x u value. Now d f by d f by d f by x u value is more than 0.43. You see d f by x u is coming more than 0.43. If it is more than 0.43, then calculate using the uh, you see the clause number in page number uh, 97. Which clause you have to use if d f by x u is uh, greater than 0.43? If it is greater than 0.3, accordingly find for the formula. And find the value. Okay. So putting all these values, that's uh, G two point two point one because Y F is here means you have to put G two point two point one. See the formula given on your uh, code in page number ninety seven, where you have to replace X U maximum with X U. So that is being done. Uh, that point three six X U by D one minus X U by D into B F W B F square. Then 0.45 of CK plus into BF minus BW YF into D minus YF YF by 2, but this term is not given in the code. That you have to add because of the compressive steel. This is not given in the code. Code is given only for the single end force sections. Now with double end force sections, the additional force due to our moment force uh, force as uh, uh, and the force gives the moment force into lever arm D minus D dash. So FSC minus in minus point four five FCK into ASC. So that will give the extra additional moment. So with this additional moment, you can calculate the value It's coming four seventy seven point four zero two kilo newton meter. So let us start another problem where it is given all the data. Uh, it's given that uh, six numbers twenty eight in tension, two number twenty in compressor, uh, flange one twenty thickness seven hundred millimeter width of flange. So with this data, let us start the problem. Bf is 90. So like the previous problem, you first find out the nuclear axis lies in planes or wave. So we have to see the nuclear axis lies in planes, and uh, then find out the value of FSC 361, and we found that x u is greater than dn. So lies in planes. So now uh, again d dash is more than 40. So nuclear axis lies in wave. Uh, so t you can find out 0.87 fyst. U is equal to your CU. So calculate now CU. Uh, carrying the XU value uh, equal to uh, with maximum equal to DF, and so you can put two twenty two. So the trial we have taken, we have got this value here. Uh, the uh, XU two twenty two. You can try with two twenty two. Calculate the strain. Calculate stress. Calculate CU. Now by putting CU is equal to U, we are finding. Uh, this value comes out uh, 310. Okay. It is increasing the value to 310. So you have to take two three trials to find out the exact value of x u. So in the first trial, put x u is equal to 222. Other value got you put in the second. Now it is coming 310. Now put 310. What we are getting uh, for the next by putting now uh, this value, uh, you will find out 310. Now putting 310. Uh, but one thing, when YF is more than 120, you have to take 120. Here now you see YF is coming. YF value is coming in calculation. YF is coming 124.5, but DF is equal to 120. So now YF will be limited to DF. You cannot provide more than D. So this is one of this uh, implementation of this guideline that YF is maximum subjected to DF. So in the problem, YF is coming 124.5. So in the next calculation, you have to take y f is equal to d f that is equal to one twenty. Okay, you cannot take more than that value. This is one twenty is taken here. Now putting this uh, value again, you find the value of C U. Okay, once you find the value of C U uh, and C U is equal to T U, uh, what is the uh, value of X U is coming now? Now X U comes two fifty four. Okay, X U comes two fifty four. So. Uh, Go on trial now. In the 254, you find 253. So the three trials we find the X U value comes out to be 253, 254. So now you can close here. So X U is equal to 253.89 and F S C is equal to 350.53.4. If X U is equal to 253.89, then what is the X U maximum? X U maximum is 240. That means it will become a over reinforced section now. Okay. The over reinforced section means means The uh, uh, value will be limited to limiting moment of resistance. So calculate DF by D. 
Now df by d is more than 0.2. If that by d is more than 0.2 means you have to use this g2.2.1. Okay, so put that equation. Uh, df by d uh, is greater than 0.2, so put that equation. And yf, uh, you see yf also here is put df because yf is coming more than df, so yf is equal to df. Okay, in both cases yf is put here, yf is equal to put df, and then. Uh, for this uh, moment due to this uh, compression steel you have to put fsc minus 0.45 of ck to as into d minus d dash so uh, we think uh, we found in this problem that this uh, uh, it is a over reinforced section x is coming more than x maximum so the moment of resistance will be equal to this limiting moment of resistance and you can use uh, the formulas for single reinforced sections uh, depending on df by d so because df by d is coming more than 0.2 and also at the same time yf calculate yf is coming more than 120 yf is coming more than the df then yf should be equal to df so you should implement all the things uh, to find the moment of resistance so we saw this uh, problems on three of the analysis problem now one problem will see for this design problem now in question number four we'll find how to find the uh, calculate the reinforcement required so in this problem find what the area of steel and area of steel in compression area of steel tension that will find now the moment is given 400 kilo newton and that is given ultimate moment so if it is given ultimate moment then you should not multiply with uh, 1.5 because it is subject to an ultimate moment read the question carefully if it is ultimate moment don't multiply 1.5 if it is a working moment or it is a uh, subject superimposed moment, then multiply 1.5. Now, let us see what to do in this problem. Uh, you have given the moment, uh, moment and uh, you would find the area of steel. So, uh, as uh, we have discussed earlier also, that uh, when the moment is given, first we would find the moment capacity of the planes. If the moment capacity of planes is less than the moment applied, then it like lies in wave. If the moment uh, the capacity of the planes uh, is more than the moment applied, then neutralization lies in uh, planes. So neutralization in planes or wave that we will discuss. So moment capacity is less than this applied many moment, then wave is more than the applied moment, then it is in planes. So accordingly, you have to design the section. If it is in planes, then you have to design as a single input section, uh, just like the formula is for single input section. And if it is in the wave, then you have to take the uh, double input section uh, formulas given by the highest score. Now, uh, first, uh, again, he has taken here df, x is equal to df, and find out the me1, okay, as a single input section, point one b is equal to, you see, it is bf here, it is not simple bw, it is bf, and it is coming to 30, but our moment is given 400. So, from this, we confirm that this uh, neutral axis lies in. Uh, wave. So there are two kinds of problems depending on the xu, depending on the moment. If xu is more than df lies in wave or if the capacity of this uh, planes is less than the many moment then also it lies in wave. So that you have to confirm first. Then we have to assume xu is equal to 7 by 3 df. We don't know what is less than 7 by 3 or more than 7 by 3. Once you solve the problem then we can find uh, whether, uh, whether it is less than or more than. So, what is the moment? Again, moment due to the wave and moment to the planes. In the wave, we'll have two things will come. One with the uh, compressive steel and also this uh, compression of the concrete. So, the same thing is given 0.3 FCBW and uh, in place of XU, it is put 7 by 3 DF. Okay? 7 by 3 DF. And again, a BF minus BW into DF, D minus DF by 2. So, that comes out to be So that comes out to be, uh, values are given, this comes out to be 351.09, it's less than 400. That means your MU2, that is moment due to the wave and flange in compression, and this value is uh, coming less than this. So MUD is greater than MU2. So compute this MU limiting. So, MU limiting is comes 354, that is also less than 400. That means this is a over reinforced section. So, you can calculate AST1 for MU limiting and uh, uh, plane sections, AS, ASF, 
and then can find AST1 is equal to AST, ASW plus ASS. Okay, what we see here that by simple uh, taking these values of compressions uh, in the planes and this wave, and uh, we found that this uh, capacity, we have not also taken this here, this uh, compression steel, if you compression steel that will be much more again. Now only due to the wave and planes you have taken in compression, the value uh, is less than 400. So you will find this MUD is greater than MU2. So XU is greater than 7 by 3 dn. That means XU uh, is greater than this value. So it will be XU greater than this value, then only uh, this can more than 400. So it is limited to 351. Now take the limiting value of this section. The limiting value of this section comes out to be also less than the moment applied. So the section is double enforced sections. Okay, because we don't know uh, whether it will be single end force or double end force. The, uh, because no hair is written design as a double end force section. So first you have to find out uh, the capacity for a single end force section. And for the single end force section, capacity is 351. So we have taken, we have not considered here this uh, force moment due to the compressive steel. Because we only take the wave and the planes. And we found that it is 400. And if you take also limiting capacity, the limiting capacity is also less. So these two confirms that it is a double end force section. So if it is double end force section, how to find AST1? AST1 will find for limiting value. So ASW will be equal to 0.36 FCK BWXU by 0.87 FY. Okay, limiting value can find out 0.7 FY into the due to wave that is equal to compressive force. If compression is equal to tension, you can find out the area of steel here. Now, how to find the planes? The same thing, the planes portion is 0.45 FCK BF minus BW into DF. So you can find out the value of steel in planes. Now, what is total steel? ASW plus ASF. So this will give you the value of uh, planes and uh, wave. Now, for additional steel AST2, now you'll find uh, this is the AST1 due to the compression in uh, wave and compression in planes. Now, what is AST2? AST2 will for this remaining many moment, MUD minus MU limiting by 0.87 FY D minus GDS as we have done in case of double enforced section. So from this you find out the area of steel AST2 and then uh, compressive steel corresponding to AST2 you will find out but you want to find out the, what is the uh, strain in that level. So find out strain in that level because you have the limiting value take 240 is the limiting value find the strain and then find stress. So once you name, know the stress value you can find out the area of steel in compression. Again, the MUD minus MU limiting by these values. The, the same procedure we have done for these double end force sections for these uh, rectangular sections. Uh, they apply for AS. Now your ASC is equal to again AST2. So total AST will be AST1 plus AS2. Earlier you would find uh, 2, 3, 1, 2, 0. 0.24 plus additional steel we have to add 278.8. Okay. Uh, generally, this AST2 and AC nearly equal. You find it uh, 278.8, it is coming to 93.46. So uh, the uh, moment due to this both will be remain same or the force due to these steels will remain same. So we'll find out total steel is this and for this you provide a number of bars. If you want further, you can find out the number of bars depending on the uh, number of bars depending on the size of the bars. And you can also check, if you want you can check that the steel is less than uh, minimum, uh, is more than minimum steel, that is ASTBD by FY, and is more than maximum, it is less than maximum reinforcement 0 0.04 BD. So, this is again the design of this section. Last minute. Design means the moment is given, you would find the area of steel for the volume input section. Once you do the design of these sections for the moments, then you can check for shear, check for uh, deflection, check for uh, development length, similarly to the, similar to single input sections. So that you can do, and that will give the complete design of a uh, double enforcement, double enforced TVM section. So uh, single enforcement TVM section and double enforced TVM section only variation is the uh, moment that is applied to the sections for which uh, you have to find the compressive steel uh, in addition to the tension steel. Uh, so this is regarding this uh, double enforced T sections. Uh, or plane sections, you can also provide for the design for the L sections. Uh, with this, uh, we end this lecture. Have a nice day.